Imagine an insurmountable barrier, a cosmic law that nothing and no one can break, the speed of light. At almost 300,000 kilometers per second in a vacuum, this isn't just an astonishing figure, it's the fundamental limit of all motion in the universe. At this speed, you could circle the Earth more than seven times in a single second, but why is it an insurmountable limit? The answer lies in the very nature of the universe, described by Albert Einstein's relativity. As an object with mass accelerates and approaches the speed of light, its effective mass begins to increase exponentially. The faster you go, the heavier you become, and therefore, the more energy you need to keep accelerating. It's an impossible chase, because to reach the speed of light, an object with any mass, no matter how small, would need an infinite amount of energy, as its mass would become infinite, a true physical impossibility. This limit is not just a barrier, but a gateway to phenomena that defy all our intuition. As you approach this speed, time for you would slow down dramatically compared to the rest of the cosmos, a journey of a few years could mean that on Earth centuries have passed. Space itself would contract in your direction of travel, shortening distances before your eyes. Only massless particles, like the photons that make up light itself, can reach this speed, because for them, it is their natural state, they don't have to accelerate to reach it. So the speed of light is not simply a record to be broken, it is the rhythm at which the fabric of space-time itself beats, a fundamental constant that defines the structure of our reality and reminds us of the majestic and strange physics that governs our universe.